We are walking bones, wrapped in skin and flesh, watching an internal film projected by a pink blob. It's kind of funny when you think about it. Into the Bones is an exhibition exploring some of life's biggest structures and questions in both a dark, serious and humorous way. A blank canvas. Something that before seemed insignificant, actually even annoying, when thinking about how much work was yet left to do. Now, a blank canvas, a screen where I'm watching a painting unfold and uncovering new, unexpected things with every layer. This was not where I was supposed to go, the work I was supposed to do, and I had to be willing to throw away everything. Nothing about this work felt comfortable. It's a bit of an explosion of abstract concepts, energy, colours and bones. I really had to sit with the foundations of my art making, look at it and ask a lot of difficult questions. I really hadn't planned this shift in style and I really did not plan what it was going to look like or be. It kind of just happened by accident. This all started back in February with one painting. I hit a wall. I had so many paintings I wanted to make and no time to make them. I was exhausted. And it was just a big moment of grief, frustration and hopelessness. I had so many unfinished paintings and I felt like I'd betrayed every single one of them. How I was running my business was just totally unsustainable and it did not have any space to actually make these painting dreams happen. I hadn't created anything on my personal work for months. I applied for funding to create a big project and got rejected. And that's when it hit me. I felt claustrophobic and trapped with all these ideas and no way to realise them. A huge crisis came upon me. I felt so stuck and I was so disappointed and frustrated with myself. I was full of energy that I couldn't seem to release and I genuinely wondered if this was it. Can I do this anymore? Do I have the strength? I worked like an athlete for years and I thought, I don't know how to do this. This is so unhealthy. I can't keep this up. Is this the end? But I am an artist, so I put a blank panel in front of me. I guess it was like a huge fuck you to doing things properly, fuck you to trying so hard, and a fuck you to being disappointed in myself. I honestly did not know what was going to happen. I just painted what I felt like. I just wanted to make work, because how the fuck can I call myself an artist if I'm not making work? And some really wonderful things happened. My mind really quietened and my feelings and energy transformed. The painting is called, Is This The End? Because that's the question I was seriously asking. And it wasn't, it was the start of a whole new, completely different thing. I started the painting with a feeling of despair and death. And I ended it with a feeling of hope and real joy about what was going to come next. So it was the end of something, but it was also the birth of another thing. I've never really had a thing for skulls, but that is what seemed to want to emerge from these new paintings. There is just something about this symbolism and how it's so rich in meanings. And it seemed like the perfect fit for so much of what I needed to communicate. And then what started to emerge as I started to have more fun with these drawings was these creatures. I think what I felt was that these creatures are sort of the essence, a sort of makeshift being of what is our soulful makeup. <laughs> kind of like how our experiences and memories create the shape of who we present ourselves to be in the world. And so the skull people were born. I like how these paintings just carry so much and the juxtaposition they provide, both life and death. So it's with great anticipation that I invite you to Into the Bones, a pop-up exhibition at Canopy Market 30th of September until the 2nd of October.